Which is greater, faith or knowledge? And your faith is dormant this because you know. Where in the world did the Book of Mormon actually occur? It has to be a land of liberty and freedom. It is choice above all other lands. It has to be in the United States because there's nothing like the U.S. of A. any place on earth. We found 36 very specific prophecies and promises in the text of the Book of Mormon. Prophecies and promises about the land and the people or the Gentiles who will be led to this promised land in the latter days. Joseph Smith, claiming to have received revelation, wrote it down and put his name to it in regard to the geography of the Book of Mormon. Mormon. Found this definite link between people in the Americas and the Middle East. They needed to find out whether or not it was ancient. How did X2 get from the Mediterranean area into the Americas? These Mayan ruins have become the icon for the Book of Mormon. Which one of those were God's people? The Hebrews. Which one of them built grand structures? The Egyptians. The Romans and the Jews. Who built grand structures? Why would it even be assumed that the Nephites would have built majestic ruins? Should the proposed method use the geographical passages over the spiritual passages? Doesn't make sense. We should use the spiritual passages over the geographical passage. And I, Nephi, did build a temple and I did construct it after the manner of the Temple of Solomon. That dimension is bigger than the Pyramid of Giza, Chichen Itza, and the Pyramid of the Sun. This was a monumental earthwork. Most people don't even realize that it's right here in North America. You have to determine which type of evidence is stronger or more robust evidence than other types of evidence. This is a review of some of the evidence that indicates a North American setting for the Book of Mormon. What did Joseph Smith know about the geography of the Book of Mormon? Joseph Smith went up on this mound with the 12 brothers. He discovered that the person whose skeleton was before us was a white Lamanite. His name was Zelf. He was a warrior and chief. Behold, I say unto you that you shall go unto the Lamanites and preach my gospel. The first missionaries who were sent unto the Lamanites went to tribes which today harbor haplogroup X. DNA. How did Joseph Smith know that? If this geography is correct, Book of Mormon history is literally on the same sacred grounds as church history. We will find additional evidence strengthening the claims of the Book of Mormon because it is true.